by Adam Savage of the Mythbusters, and he kind of showed like you know what he carries on him like at all times. So when he goes out of his you know of his house and stuff, so I figured, hey, I'll do the same thing. Mine's kind of plain, and it kind of varies from day to day, but for the most part, this is what I carry outside my house. So first off, my wallet, just a standard, uh, well, it's actually a standard bifocal wallet that doesn't have any cash in it right now. I rarely have cash. I usually use my bank card. But yeah, a couple of interesting things I do carry on me. I do have uh, some of my business cards with me at all times. I need to get some new ones done because they have my old address on here. You know, just people, you know, so I can show what I can do videos. And I'm pretty good at them. <laughs> Another kind of interesting thing is I keep this on me. I should probably put it in my display case. It's over there. But it's a uh, car that actually says, like, well, it's a uh, military... I guess like military service card or something. I'm not too sure what it, exactly it is, but I'm going to probably look it up. I just don't know, you know, what exactly it is, but this is my grandfather's, uh, I guess, service card. I'll just call it that. And it says on it, you know, this is to clarify that, you know, my grandfather served honorably and well in the United States Army Air Forces in World War II. And it's dated December 22nd, 1945. I should probably take that out of my wallet, you know, just in case I ever lose my wallet because this is pretty irre irreplaceable. And another interesting thing I actually have on here is this tip card because I'm I, I'm terrible with, with leaving tips, so this actually gives me both uh, 15 and 20 percent so I can actually leave tip. A couple other things I have in here. Well, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff in here. Well, business cards, my social security card, I should probably take that out as well. I should probably take that out too, it's a, uh, it's my, like a, my bank account number on here, because I didn't know at the time when I was trying to deposit some, some cash into there, and I also have these like little prayer cards for, you know, my uh, grandmother, and also my fiance Jen's uh, uncle, so I keep those on me at all times. That's usually in my front right pocket. I never put my wallet in my back pocket. It's just a personal preference because I'm kind of scared of pickpocketers and I don't like it. any of the stolen. So I usually just keep it in this pocket. Pretty deep down in my pocket, like right down there. And usually in the same pocket I usually carry a pen. I usually carry a pile of G2s. These are my favorite type of pens. You know, I, just been using, I use these things all through college and I just find them a very nice writing pen. On certain days, I actually do carry a flashlight. This is actually a Streamlight flashlight. It's quite bright, as you can see. And an uh, interesting story about this: at my previous job, I uh, well, I used to, you know, handle material, like, you know, industrial supplies, you know, just all sorts of different things like motors and all that other jazz, and one of the, you know, safety equipment, flashlights power tools, that sort of thing. And a customer actually brought back this uh, flashlight because he said it wasn't working properly, which, as you can see, it does work. It's just that every so often, like, it, I need to, like, you know, repress the button a couple of times just to make sure it actually does work again. But for the most part, it does work. And he was just complaining that, like, it's very inconsistent. And there's a, so, you know, I did a return exchange from, you know, got him a new one that works, uh, worked out fine. And, Usually our policy is to take, you know, you know, check out the RPG code, which is the uh, return, like, you know, what to do with returns and stuff. Either we pull them back on the shelf or we scrap them. And for this one, it was actually to scrap it. So I salvaged it because I didn't see anything wrong with it, except for a little wear and tear. And as you can see, works. Well, there it goes. <laughs> works fine. Usually in the same pocket, I usually, uh, you know, on certain days, I carry my uh, Bear Grylls Scout knife. It's actually a very nice knife. I enjoy. It's a very durable, very, very nice knife. Just, uh, you know, just I like the uh, the size of it. Just a nice knife to carry around. Usually in my back pocket, I carry a uh, moleskin uh, notebook or like a notebook of some kind, just so I can 
write stuff down. Usually if I'm at like the supermarket and I usually keep my notes in here. I need to get my, more of these things. I haven't been wearing a, a watch recently, but usually I do carry a watch on me. I just need a new battery for it. This is a Dakota watch. Very, very comfortable watch. It actually replaced my old uh, Uzi watch, which was like my favorite watch of all time, but this was a replacement for it because I kind of broke it. And, uh, okay, jump cut. <laughs> but also in my uh, front or left pocket, I usually carry my, keep my cell phone there. I just, like, I've always uh, carried, like, well, back in the day, I used to actually carry my keys in that front, in that front pocket, front left pocket, and, like, now I just, well, I'll get to my keys in just a little bit, but now I just keep my cell phone ever since I stopped using a cell phone holster. And, uh, yeah, and, this is my iPhone 4S. It's in a Macpol case, an executive, uh, executive case. I, I love the case. It's uh, very dur durable, very slim. You know, I, I hardly feel like I have a phone in my pocket most of the time. It's just that when I... The only problem I have with it is, I don't know if it's like just my particular iPhone or anything, but whenever I use the flash on my iPhone, like when I'm using this case, it kind of come. I think it either blocks a has like something on the lip or something and it just gets caught on there, something like that. But for the most part, you know, I just like the uh, texture on there, you know, like it has like little ridges on the uh, sides here, just, you know, so it doesn't like, you know, follow my hands. Like my, I have another cell phone case that actually it has Iron Man on it. It's very smooth and I feel like it's going to drop out of my hand, but this one I actually feel very secure with it. And over here, my keys. I usually keep these on like a uh, belt loop. Yeah, I keep even my back pocket. Kitty. <laughs> but, nothing really too special about that. I just have my keys, and this is actually the the uh, safety whistle from a Bear Grylls knife of mine. I just don't have the Bear Grylls knife with, with me that this one belongs to because I left it back at my parents' house up in Connecticut. And uh, I have my car keys. I have my uh, fiance's key, car keys on here. I have my apartment, and... Uh, mailbox key and uh, I have a uh, I have a bottle opener from from the Magic Hat Brewery up in Vermont when me and my fiance went there for a trip and I carried on a uh, locking D clamp or a carabiner and I got this at a, a camping supply store and it's just I want some like a lot of people like have these like you know carabiners and stuff but I want one that actually if I ever needed to and if I had to, I can actually use it to support my weight. That's basically what I uh, keep on me at all times whenever I go out. You know, like I said, like it varies from day to day, but for the most part, I can carry my keys, my wallet, my cell phone at all times. And uh, that's basically what I have to say, and that's that. That's it.